Hey guys, now it's a review of the Mighty Morphin Dino Megazord figure, which I guess that's his official name. I don't know if they ever said this Megazord's name. It was always just Summon the Megazord. I think they came up with its official name when someone was like grabbing some plastic bag and then just crumbling it up in the middle of me recording, but it's okay. <laughs> um, I don't think it ever had an official name until the cards came out because they had to have a name for it. So they just named it Dino Megazord. That's what I'm guessing. But here it is. This is just the 2010 version. I did not have the 2010 version. But I'm still going to review it just because. So here's the back of the box again. Just all the poses, shows, all of them so far. And oh yeah, and also the Robo Knight Mighty Might figure thing. I actually don't like this, but I like this, how this turns out. So, I don't know if I'll get it or not. Because I really like Kosei Knight slash Robo Knight. Well, Kosei Knight more than Robo Knight so far. But yeah, here it is and its packaging. comes with a card. I'll tear it up and just show you the guys that stuff in words. Ah! Oh. Well, I guess the toy came out of its packaging all by itself. So, yeah, here's the card. I'll show it off in a second. I kind of bent it a little, see? Like this, this I, idea of packaging the card with these isn't the best idea ever because I just bent it and yeah, that sucks. But this card is a really good card. It sucks that you have to sacrifice four, I mean five, to play it and it has four damage played. You may move the bottom card of your discard area to your training area. So there it is, here's the powers. It's just showing off for the people who care about the game because I'm one of them. And uh, let me take it out now. Here we go. Put that over there. And yeah, you see it came bent a little because of the stupid packaging that made me bend it. So I don't I don't like that packaging. But here it is, Dino Megazord. The design itself is pretty cool. Let me just put it in the Gossy Morpher. Shocking. But yeah, there it is. Let me just take it out. Put that over there. And let's just get to the figure. Which I also forgot that there's a sword. Oh, there it is. I sound the ground. Sorry, I forgot about that. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> it's right here. I was like, wait a minute. Why would it only come with the shield? Yeah, there we go. Here's a sword. Now I have everything part of every part of the toy and the trash is on the ground. First let me show the sword and the shield. So the shield is just the Mastodon, Mammoth, whatever you want to call it, Zero Ranger, I don't know. But here it is. It would have been better if it had the M colored in, but it doesn't really matter. Just pretty flat and stuff. Then the sword is a little bit bendable and stuff, so you can see. So, just bend it back, I guess. It's not the best material, but it's good enough. So, there's a sword. And then onto the figure itself. It actually looks pretty cool. Um, I, well, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what to say. It, yeah, the horns are pretty big, I guess. And this, this, and stuff. So, Retrofire. So, this is one of the Retrofires that looks weird to me, but I would get this. Uh, since it's MFBR, I guess, or Zoo Ranger, Jew Ranger, but in the back, just yellow, red, gray, black, nothing really interesting in the back. Then in the front, all the colors and stuff. So rotation all the way around. This does this, and I think it bends at the elbow. It does. It's just no, it doesn't, does it? No, it does not. Really? Well, sort of. It does this little maneuver. But it does not have a joint at the elbow, which sucks. I just found that out. But hey, I don't know. This is a 2010 one. Uh, does this with the knee. Move it all around here. Let me just move this hand. Move it all around. The freaking tiger can move like that. I think the Triceratops can do that too. Yeah. So not all the way, but almost. And same thing over here. I just, I don't know, it actually, it looks like it has an elbow joint, but it does not. It does, I'm an idiot. 
Is it stuck in here then? Because it's not, like not working. It's like stiff on this side. Because. What the? Did they forget a joint? So apparently there's an elbow joint on the left arm of the Megazord. But not on this one. So I don't know if that's part of the toy or like the people who made this messed up. I don't know. I think this is just for holding the shield and this is for holding the sword. I'm guessing that's what they did there. I don't know, but you can move it around and stuff. This. Nope, you can't do that. But you can do that with this one. So this one, you cannot. Uh, I'm <laughs> guessing that's why... Guessing why the arms are different is so that it's one for each thing. I'm just guessing. How do they hold this? Oh, I just noticed something. <laughs> this uh, hand is all the way closed. This one's opened. So then, this one's for the sword. Yeah, I'm just figuring this all out right now. So then this one's for the sword. And this one's for the uh, thing. The shield. At first I was confused where the shield goes since the arm is closed. but Or the hand. But there's a little hole right here. And there's a peg right here. If you can see that. So just attach it right there. And bam, now he has his shield and his sword. I see what they did there with the arms. It got me confused a bit, but now I see what they did there. So it's kind of cool, I guess. But yeah. Just the 2010 version with a card. They need more money. And you guys will get it. <laughs> but yeah, not too bad of a toy. I didn't get the original 2010 one. But yeah. Oh, and by the way, when I said like I would... I don't know what I said, but I said if I would get this or wouldn't and stuff. This is my brother's. I'm just reviewing it. <laughs> yeah. I forgot to go through the possibility of the waist. Kind of, I guess. Not really all the way. Just sort of. But I already talked about everything else, really. It's just the head turns. And kind of goes up and down. Sort of. So, yeah. Here it is. Actually, looks pretty cool with this thing like that. I guess. I actually like it. Trying to pose it now. So yeah, it's about 12 bucks, just as any other retrofire that's coming out. And if you like MPR, post stuff, get this. Or get the Daijujin, uh figure thing that I have. Here, you know what? I'm just going to bring it. Let me just take this lightning bolt effect out of it. I'm not going to bring out the Mammoth Shield because it's in the box. And it'll take me a while, so I'll just do this. So, there's a little comparison right there. Let me try to make them both hold it in the same way and stuff. They're about the same size. It's just that one's from America, one's from Japan, one's more detailed and stuff. Posable. So, there they are. About the same size, not really. Sort of. And this one's heavier and stuff. So, I mean, if you can't get this, this is a pretty good substitute, I guess. Not the best, but it's good enough. This one's pretty good too, though. So, yeah. Just gonna put this back on. And put him back in his posing thing. And then make him stand there in the same position for the rest of his life. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope this thing was helpful. This little review on the 2010 Retrofire thing that now has a card. So, yeah. See you in the next one.